Hello everybody, Miles the Farmman, and welcome back to episode 11 of our Let's Play on Nasal Farm. Now we have face cam again, and I've shrunk it as small as it will go without chopping my head off and shit like that. Um, also, people were like, don't put it in every episode and all this stuff. It is going to be in every episode. Um, it is a decision I've made. A lot of people did like it. I did get a lot of people, even uh, Hayden and all that, uh, Hayden, Kieran and Shane said it was really good as well. So... It's it's kind of like I'm trying to I'm going with the majority of what people said, just because that's what you do, isn't it? I'm not going to take it down just because a few people say they don't like it and whatever. Um, right. Oh my god, I've still got that one. Uh, so today's episode we've got the Crone uh, Tedder and the JD7430 are going to be going because we've got some new bits of kit coming. Um, so. Goodbye, John Deere, and uh, goodbye, Crone. So we're gonna have, we're gonna buy, we're gonna be buying another Crone uh, tether. It's just gonna be a bigger one. So somebody asked for a, where is it? We have the Master Ferguson 1200 series as well, which we might put in the game. So somebody asked for a T7, I think it was, and Hayden very said. So very kindly sent sent me an edited one, um, which is 240 horsepower, which is good enough. I don't know why it says it's four meters working width. I don't know. Um, and then the Crone Tedder is going to be this one, the KWT 11.22. It's 11 meters wide, which is going to be really handy. We're also going to be getting rid of the class baler because something else. We're going to be getting the big. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Crone, I can't. Crone Ultima, I think it's called. So goodbye, Clash Rollant. You've been a very good bailer, but your time is now. Or nine. Uh, bailing technology. Here we go. Crone, hundred and forty-three thousand. Holy shit, we do not have enough. Right, okay. We will be getting that. Most definitely. I'm just going to turn the game volume up by one. So, it's a New Holland T7 240. Um, it has got an open door. I don't know what this mod is stock. I don't know what it is, you know, if you just download it. Because this one has been edited. So I'm not too sure what's been added to it. Um, it also has openable sunroof. Which I think opens, if I'm... Oh yes, it does open. Uh, the back window. The doors. It has weights as well. on, And it has rear jewels and stuff like that. It also has a hell of a lot of beacons. So. But this is going to be great because it will actually pull the... What's it one? The Crone Ultima when we get it. I think yeah, it is the Ultima, isn't it? So we're going to be selling a quite a lot of grain as well. We've also got the the TM over there wants to go back down to the the yard. I'm going to just slowly, slowly take this back. Slowly, slowly, slow. Now I've got to remember to sit up so you guys can see me. Because if I start to slouch, I start to do this sometimes in videos. And it gets up every very annoying. But now we've got face cam. I've got something to focus on. Turn out of here, but yeah, Hayden sent me this, so thanks very much, Hayden. Um, it, I don't know where he got it from. I have no idea. Um, I if if he comes on, I will definitely ask him. And there's a header trailer sticking through that edge. I need to fix that. But of course, the field's been tedded, so we don't need to use this right now. We're going to put this away. Um, so that's another new tractor added. Uh, it's going to be a new baler eventually when the money arrives. Well, we only have to sell a couple of fields worth of grain. Oh, also, I've changed the bale textures because... Um, I've changed the bale textures because I was getting an awful lot of lag. For some reason, I have no idea what it was. Um, and we're running on high, of course, but... I wanted to, um, because we've had them textures a long time. Yes, they do make the bales really look really realistic, but when you're running the Crone Ultimate, 
it does completely obliterate your game. Because my PC is, is not the most powerful. And you might be wondering, why am I not doing this in cab? I'm wondering the exact same thing. So yeah, that's... It's, it's going to be quite handy having this, really. Why are you stuck now? Having this, because it's, um, it's quite a nice wide tether as well as a... Uh, well, we're going to have to wind row today, so... We're not going to put this on the wind row, it's too big. You can just stay here. We need to get you back. Oh, bloody hell, I thought the game had crashed and I shat myself. So let's get the TM. TM wants to go to field 2 because we need to uh, get that combine unloaded. Uh, what What's everything doing? Cows? We're, good, we're gonna feed the cows in a minute. I did sell a load of grain off screen just to boost money up, but we've got so much grain to sell it's gonna be quite hard to get rid of it all. And I keep looking over here because this is where I record the, uh, the videos actually being recorded. On the secondary screen is the way the software is still open. So we need to go into field two. Now I'm hoping this bit of the field has been... Yes, it's been harvested. Now that was really, really sharp of a corner. This tractor would have never done that in real life. You would have got the tow bar too, too hard against the wheels and, you know. Common sense would have told you that that was a bit too far around. But. So we're going to feed the cows the same again as everything. Um, really boost them up, really get them going. Right, now hopefully it's common I just sit here. That's good enough. Yeah, I know in real life you're supposed to keep the combine actually going. Right, okay, so you're here. Oh, God, the bloody class is still down here. Open. Open. I do like to have all the windows pretty much open on this thing. Right, so we'll put this away. So, yeah, we've got a, a lot of wheat there, so we're going to uh, be selling that most definitely. Oh, I started to slouch again, and I started to be here. It's like, I don't need to be here, I need to be here. So, it's going to be interesting, because I I think that's going to... I think having the face cam just sort of finishes the video off quite nice for what I want. Um, obviously, there's no purpose to it, as in I'm not going to do a reaction video to this, because this game is not scary, and it is no way... It's nowhere near as hard as real life or anything like that. It's just... It's a doddle game, really, to be fair. If you know how to play it, it's a doddle game. Um... Of course, I did cheat in the start of this. I did give myself a load of money just to get all the machinery, which I don't think you saw. I can't remember if you did. To get all the machinery to get us going. But that's only because I didn't want it to drag on for ages and ages and ages whilst we bought a tractor, a combine, and, you know, slowly worked our way up. Um, I just wanted to get in and go. So, that's what I did. So, we need to feed the cows again. It's a good thing this thing actually has a bit of speed to it. Um, in the vlog I uploaded a couple of days ago, someone asked me, does that Fergie actually start? Yes, it does. It does actually work. It does actually run. It runs, but it's a bit rough. Um, it'll only run... Well, it hasn't ran for about six years. Well, it... Yeah. About six years when I first started it, it hadn't ran for, so... It was a bit stuttery in the beginning. But you know, once you get a bit hot, once you get once they get a bit of a like hot air in them, they've got like um, a what's it on it? Like they've got one glow plug on them, and they've got like the big tube. But there's like you have because it's, I'm trying to keep it original. It has like a gas can thing on the side, like a big square thing. I can't remember what they're called. Um, and you literally, it, what you do is as you engage the I think this is how it works. As you put the glow plug on, you can pump gas into the air intake. So the, when the glow plug goes on, it burns the gas, warms all the air up in inside the thing, inside the air intake, and then it doesn't take as long. Because if you've got one glow plug to four cylinders, it's going to take quite a bit. Especially on that old thing. 
So yeah, it does actually work. I just haven't had a video of it running yet. Because I've only had it running for a couple of seconds. Because it had no water going in it, so it was like, you know, I'd have, I'd have to run it at... Oh god, I've got to empty this. Just going to back it up to here. Okay, so there's nothing in it apparently. It's empty. So that means if I put... So that means up there... It's got hay in it apparently. Hang on, let me just quickly reverse to here. Okay, so it was being really fussy then. Don't know why. Yeah. Got stuck. So yeah, that, that's why there hasn't been a video on that in the recent times. There will be at some point, don't worry. I, I know people like to keep up with what I'm actually doing. There will be a video. Right, we need to go get some straw bales, first of all. We're going to go get two straw bales. I want to get mixed rations full again not full but really because the because mixed rations is mixed rations is the first one so you want to get that full as high as it'll go so that you because they'll take that first they'll start eating into that so if you run out of food in the first one and you haven't actually filled up your other two to anything yet it's you'll run out of food and then everything and then it takes so much longer to feed now, I did say we we're going to go up to about 150 cows, which I thought thought was pretty good. It, it does mean we're going to need a lot more stuff. Um, so these are about 1.4 meters. I think the game recognizes them as the same size. So you need to, when we do the Chrome Ultimate, we need to set it to only bale to this size, and uh, then we should be good. Can you do it in cab view? Now I need to take that feature off this joystick because that is annoying as hell. No, stop it. The joystick has a real... Because the joystick is so sensitive, right? When you... I've got it set to extend the arm out when you twist it sideways. Oh, God. And I'm pressing every fucking button but the one I want. So, you literally... Twist it sideways, which is a pain because it's so sensitive, it twists it sideways when you're not even doing it. Which is why I probably should, I haven't been using it as much. You probably have noticed that I'm not using it as much as I probably should be. I mean, it was, it wasn't too expensive. And, uh, there we go, so what's that? That is... Well, it doesn't say, but you need to just keep filling it up now till it's full. I actually do really like this. I'm glad. I'm glad I actually swapped um, machines. I went for. Oh, that's E. That's the wrong button. Well, I'm going to just turn this on because I think you can see it when you turn it on. Okay, no you can't, you can only see it when you're in it. Well, that's stupid, isn't it? I'm not going to do this bit in cab because you have to get it exactly right, otherwise it doesn't actually put it in. So the combine's on 80% again, we're going to have to empty it. Um, we will, I'm just going to keep selling the grain because we need it. Because once we buy that big baler, we're going to need the money to come back. But that that might mean we might do silage bales. I'm, I don't really want to risk making the game really laggy. Because if you make silage bales, you're going to really cause it to lag. I think this has got a new exhaust pipe on it as well. Oh no. Right, we'll turn this around. Turn this around in a hundred shunts or more. Oh, 
lost the brake pedal. We don't want to hit the brake pedal. Because Farm Sim only recognises brake as revert. Well, the, the middle pedal, if you're playing with a Logitech D27, it recognises it as um, stop if you've got the shifter thing on. The forwards and backwards shifter thing, which I never seem to have on. I don't like it. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that's not too bad. So it's four headlands. Well, yeah, four, probably about four headlands per per filling. Well, we are just going to cut this bit off here. We wasted a bit of money, but I uh, So yeah, as you can probably see, it's lagging a bit now, which if I add any more bales, I think it's going to just completely lag itself to death. Which is not the best. Um, I do want to make it I, am, I think I am going to upgrade this PC and make it a bit more powerful for doing this sort of stuff um, in the near future, which would be quite handy because that means I haven't got to piss about with. I need part of that bloody bed over there. New Holland TM1. T I keep calling it a TM and it's not. It's a Fiat. So just push it through that. What is that anyway? Oh, it's an old like feed trough thing. Right, so what are we on? 16 minutes. So we'll have to feed these again, and that's it. I, I'm not going to record over 19 minutes. It's not worth it, really. The other video uploaded quite nicely, just on. Uh, about 19 minutes, so I have no idea why. I think I'm I'm gonna try not rendering this because if you render it, well, actually no, it should be okay. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but off screen, I will most definitely just feed the cows. Get I'm gonna feed the cows, <clears throat> get them all sorted, feed the sheep again as well. Uh, sort the last of these fields out. Not going to store the grain, so it's just going to be sold straight away. So if you come back and there's a shitload of money, um, I might buy the Ultima off screen, the Chrome Ultima. I think it's a Chrome Ultima. I'm probably saying it wrong, and people are probably going absolutely shit spare at the computer screens going, no, it's not an Ultima. I'm still in the middle of the screen. This, this is a first for me. The last, I remember recording episode 10 and I was like, over here, over here, you know, like, I wasn't actually in camera and it's just lost focus. <laughs> it didn't know I was here, it's like, where's he gone? So we, we've hit 2,818 subscribers, so we're nearly on 2,820 subscribers, fucking hell. Just thank you, everyone. Um, there will be a proper video up when we hit, like, 2,850. Or even 3,000. There will be most definitely a video up for that. Of s something better than what I'm doing now. Maybe a big multiplayer game. Rent a server for a day. Whatever. And just have a big beast multiplayer game. Um, but, yeah. So, thank you, everyone, for that. That is truly incredible. Uh, I never actually knew we'd hit that. I was looking yesterday and uh, we hit it and I was like, ooh. Right, so we'll just turn that. I'm going to take that feature off because it pisses me off. Like, no end. I probably have to just be a bit more careful with it. Right, so we're on 1903. Get these cows fed. So, say the intro. I mean, outro. Um, also, this is going to be the first and only time I ever mention this. Um, on the main channel screen thing, um, when you click onto my Farming Man 19 channel, next to the Google Plus, there is a... Um, what's it called? Donation thing. It's I'm not asking for any. Believe me, I'm not. Um, they're always appreciated, but never asked for. I'm not going to... This is the only time I'm telling you, and I don't know why I'm telling you, but this is the only time it's ever going to be said. So, it's there. But that's it. We're not going to say any more about it. Um, anyway. Right, we'll feed these uh, beast. 
We will go to 150 with these cows. Uh, we'll go to 100 with the sheep. Then I, then I think we're going to buy some chickens. We're going to really get them in. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my day. I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. I need to find the button.